say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. John chapter 7, verse 37. John chapter 7, verse 37. Because of time, when you go home, go and read Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. It's the same thing. But let me, I'm just connecting you to the message I shared with you on Sunday. 37. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. 28. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Let me repeat 38. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. 39. By this he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. 40. On hearing his words, some of the people said, surely this man is the prophet. 41. Others said he is the Messiah. Still others ask, how can the Messiah come from Galilee? Praise the Lord. What bring you no argument about Christianity is the spiritual blindness. Tell your neighbor, say, what brings argument about Christianity is spiritual blindness. I can't hear you. Say, what bring argument about Christianity is spiritual blindness. Mm -hmm. It started a long time ago. We are all victims. It is not you and me, even those who were there before our time. They argued about Jesus. They argued about the truth. And what can make someone to understand this is the Spirit of God. Jesus said that unless you drink my blood and eat my flesh, you have no life. That was Sunday. In the same book, John 6. Now today, I want to call you again on the same book, chapter 7, verse 37. On the last day, I mean, on the last and the greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. What kind of water is this? The answer is here in verse 39. The Bible says that he meant the spirit whom those who believed in him were to receive later. Before Jesus was glorified, no one was received the Holy Spirit. But after his mission here on earth, because there he was glorified, then everyone was entitled to receive the Holy Spirit. If you read the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, you discover that even before he came, he said, I will put my spirit on everyone. The young ones, the elder ones shall dream dreams. You can read it, you have got the Bible. But I want to talk about this water, living what? Water. 
The living water the Bible is talking about is the Holy Spirit. When you believe in Jesus or you drink his blood, he will give you the spirit. A life-giving what? Spirit. To support your physical body. Because as it is now, without the Holy Spirit in you, there is no life. There is even water. I mean, you can just knock yourself on the block, you fall down, there you are no more. Umuntu tako sokufwa, no lupiru rakitashani. But if the Spirit of God is inside you, they can even knock you with a, 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 maybe a, 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 a stone. You fall down, they will take you to the hospital, you are back to life. Praise the Lord. But this is what Jesus is saying to you. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture said, livers of living water will flow within them. That is Holy Spirit. No question about this one. Without the Spirit of God in you, there is no life. There is no life. If I know that we, we, we all need money and we love money more than life. But what you get from money is not life. It is a physical what? strength. Simple. The less is waste, which will come out of your body. But receiving the Holy Spirit is a permanent life, a permanent food inside your life, I mean your body, which will keep on sustaining you. Even when you are sick, the Spirit of God will revive you from that situation. Even where we are, I mean, they are captured you spiritually because the Spirit of God in you cannot allow darkness to capture the Holy Spirit. He will say, no, this is my temple. Leave this one. Living by senses, by experience, because you are a member of the church, it doesn't mean that you have got life inside you. Here, others say, truly this man is a prophet. Others said he's a messiah. Others said, no, he's not a messiah. How can a messiah come from Galilee? Simply means, Without the Holy Spirit in you, tamwa kwa talaifi ya kwa lesa. Tamwa keshwe fyo lesa le bomba. Tamwa katari ya muilu kapa fyo lesa le tele. You see the pavu miwenu na angula mchalo. This is why you see we are doubting even men of God. Others who have gone. You hear a lot of comments. Oh, he's a satanist. He's what? He's what? He's what? There are no more. It is now us who are remaining behind. We are going to meet them there. I don't know if you see them or you'll be watching them at a distance. You'll be on the other side. Because if you can call them today that they are demons, they are satanists, and they have passed on to the glory, you too, you passed on one day. Are you going to see them one-on-one -on -one like this? No. The way you rejected the Holy Spirit in them, that is the same way the Holy Spirit is going to reject you. This is the time that we collect the era of Christianity. The argument about who is a true man of God, who is, a, you know, a, a, a true servant of God, which one is the living church, which place where they are worshiping Jesus, came about this spiritual blindness. If you were to be led by the Spirit of God, as Jesus is calling you to say, come and drink, Come to me. And the Bible says that whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, livers of living water will flow within them. That is the Holy Spirit in you. You are a living soul. You do not depend on human beings, you know, support or number. It is the Spirit of God that is strengthening you every day. Are you there, people of God? How do you know that this one is a, is a man of God or this one is a child of God? 
Is it because of that person is carrying a big Bible? Hmm? Or maybe by fasting? If the answer is yes, then I'm afraid. Because if, you know, people can doubt the Messiah, the real Messiah, the true Messiah, standing before them, and they are doubting him. Are you telling me that today you cannot doubt anything strange? I mean, anything spiritual? If the Holy Spirit instructed me to say, carry this, uh, I don't know if it is basket or a bow. Let everyone touch this bow. And as long as you know, you, 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 you touch this bow, then you, you are okay. Things will be like this. There will be people within or inside the church who will leave the church. You will see them walking as if they are going to the last room. Why? Say, magician. If I say, okay, come and drink water from the altar, others will leave the church. Ah, Balandati, you know, some church in Gamasanga Pati, a Valim Pella mention from a chat, Mariba Marine Spirit. You leave the church because you are a blind Christian. The living water within you is no longer there. I don't know if it was there. But if the spirit of God is in you, before even you know what is happening, immediately you enter this place, the spirit of God will minister to you that, yes, I am here. This is your father's place. Whatever you see here, be the partakers. You will not doubt. You will go outside with the phone. Hello? Man of God, no, 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 don't even touch that. That is witchcraft. <laughs> that is what? Witchcraft. So be careful. In fact, you should have consulted me before you go there. Which place is that? No, as you are going to Lolamba, there is a church. Oh, I know the man. Leave the place. Leave the place. It's witchcraft. Why? You are depending on the record. There are two things you need to know as a Christian. There is a record that is the written, you know, word of God. And then there is a voice of God that will come when you are gathered like this. For the direction. This book, without the Holy Spirit, is a record. It's like, even a witch can carry this one. In fact, a big one more than this one. You see a witch entering the church, uh, walking like, so that everyone will see that this one is a Christian, and yet he's the one who is killing people inside the church. You see him walking like this, so that everyone will know that the Bible knife in a chocolate. He's a witch. He's not carrying that Bible inside his heart. He wants to show the people that, please, don't even suspect me that I'm the one killing you. See my Bible. Hmm? It is the spirit of God within us, the life-giving spirit. Please, uh, bear with me. Go and read Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. We'll continue this coming Sunday by the grace of God. But I want you to know that you, Without this spirit in us, anything can take your life prematurely. Anything can bring you down. Yes, ako seleno mupash. Ten number I want to. Ten number I want to. Mm-hmm. Nga padi u mupash. Amen, so. I can just look at this. This one is dangerous. This one is good. This one is dangerous. This one is good. But without the Holy Spirit, just look at the face of uh, my, my, my brother here and say, ah, this man is a witch. Look at his face. Put him on the TV, my friend. Uh -huh. Look at his face. He's a witch. Hmm? Look on the screen. Zoom in. Hmm? <laughs> and yet the man is innocent. Just, you, know, the man is, you know when you are getting old, 
Your face will be what? Like you, you are disfigured. The skin will start now what? Mm, like this. So drink what? The blood of Jesus. And eat. Oh, you remove him. Thank you. Drink his blood and eat his flesh. So that you become what? The child of God. Hmm? How do you know that this one is a witch? Mwikata shan indosh. Mani venganja wako efe mwishi vendosh. Because sometimes kutu walota. Walota fena mfe. Hapa pongosh na vesa mkuta andala. Na vesa mkuta andala tefe. For the first time. Walikuwa atalimbi spiritual wife. Elu wafuwa lava pongosh. Nukwisa satire lole. Munakari ndi munga nda mwove. Munati wali change. Late ya pano mbalelo. Wasabu. Hey! Problem I am not saying you cannot see a witch. There are times that you can see a witch with a real face. And there are times that Satan can manipulate you using different what? Faces. If truly the spirit of God is in you, even if they are using, you know, the people that you know, you can still stand as a no, you. I know you. This is not my in-law. There you, you see the demon and say, yes, it's me. But you can't believe Ah, I think I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. Because I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think So, cut this. What brought this argument about Christianity? Or who is a true Christian? Who is a man of God? Which church is because of spiritual blindness? Remember that even the chief priests doubted Jesus. And these are the people who are supposed to know him before anyone discovered that this one is a Messiah. They were unable to know that this man is a Messiah. They started planning how to eliminate Jesus because it's like a majority of the people start following him. This is why even you as a Christian, when you see people hate you, gossiping about you, remember that they hated your master before you, you know you come to this life. Even friends can reject you. Not because you are a bad person, because you are following your father, and your father is Jesus. That is the foundation of your faith. Amen. Amen.